Oh, that mu that music is a banger today. Ba 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 ba. ba. <laughs> We're back with the Burly Man at Sea. Yo, what up, gamers? <laughs> we got Steady Beard, Brave Beard, or whatever the other beard's name is. Um, Hasty, I think. Hasty Beard, that's right, yeah. yeah. And we have Sorry, and we have your friend here. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's uh, my cousin. Yeah. The musician nods but continues playing, happily shirking the morning chores. Mm -hmm. Oh. I was hoping that, you know, he would say something. No, he doesn't care about any of us. Well, I guess we just go right to the boat and set sail on adventure, yeah? I guess so. And there's just, like, side quests you can do here? Ah, uh, there isn't. She's come back to us! exclaims Hasty Beard. And more lovely than we left her. Courtesy of Barnacle Transport Service, Inc., reads Steady Beard from a notice on the side. Why that great blubbery bellyache did us a good deed. I do wish the text was just coming all at once. That would be so nice. We, we, we know who's talking. Yeah, make it a little bit smoother. Yeah. Oh, that, mu that music is a banger today. Did you say so? <laughs> yeah. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so this is scripted. Yep. Moby Dick swallows us no matter what. Well, we're... Okay. We're back here. Be welcome to Wayward Pilgrims, speaks one of the nymphs. For who can resist the majesty of the great barnacled one? So it is that we awaited your return. Heard, uh, Part in two. Uh, what for? It's, it's, <laughs> it's you. Uh, he's brave, so. Hard to resist when you're sucked down like a clam and stew. Growls brave. Man, I feel like you're just imitating my, my nymph voice. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is still brave. Is yeah. The Great One journeys this way daily, so that through him all may one day find the place of promise. Predictably, the nymph's trade nods of approval. Will you wait with us here by the fire? Or is it the way of the faithless you seek? I mean... I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty faithless. We, we haven't done the faith... Like the, yeah, have we? We oh, that's what I meant, I'm feeling faithful. Okay. I guess we just sit down by the fire and wait? Or, yeah. Oh, there we go. The men fidget for a moment as Steady Beard clears his throat. If you don't mind our intrusion, we'll wait here with you, fellas. Sit, friends. For those who follow the Great One, there is no mind. Oh, that's plain. Grins, brave beard. <laughs> the three men said, "Why do you sound like the two, like the pig and blue unicorns in Charlie the Unicorn?" <laughs> <laughs> Shun non-believer. Shun. Oh wow. Okay, it's just moving. Sounds like it's been turn. The great one in circles. The great one's oh. kindness is as genetically modified potatoes. <laughs> The men begin to nod off, now catching only pieces of the nonsensical exchange as they fall into a deep sleep. So they're just getting hypnotized. Cool. That's an eye. Biodiversity. Yeah, you gotta have biodiversity. Very true. Final stop. Please exit through the front with your belongings. Whoa, well, that ship is... Okay. We're motoring. Those long hair dims let us sleep through our stop, complains Hasty Beard as they sail out into the sunlight. Brave Beard merely shudders. <laughs> <laughs> May as well see where it is we have stopped, anyway. 
I'm just using basic writing and like notes and assuming that if they don't directly say who it is speaking, it's the same person. Yeah, that's that's as because as, as you can guess. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's an open world game now. Yeah, we're playing Breath oh. of the Wild, but I can't go that way. Okay. Well. So it's semi-open world. <laughs> Oh, wait, isn't this just oh, the island? A oh, oh, that's a bird. Isn't this just the backside of the island? I have no idea. I think this is just the backside of the island. Did we just skip right to the end of the game? Uh, that looks different, though. Yeah, well, it's stopping me here. I can't go it's any further. It's a dead further. tree. <clears throat> uh, or is that like a road sign or something? Uh, it doesn't matter what it is. I can't click on it. Just just walk around. Yeah, I was thinking drag it back on the boat, maybe? Yeah, just chill. Maybe those vines? Can we climb up? Get the burb? I'm not be able to climb up. Oh, I scared the burb. Oh, oh, that story. Scaring the burb is what we're supposed to do. Yeah, let's... Oh! <laughs> is that your D&D &D character? <laughs> Greetings. Great. Oh, go ahead. You, you can take this one. Great lumping land routes. Oh, I thought that was the thing. I thought yeah, that was the monster. Exclaims Bravebeard, edging away. Edging. Stop. The voice is deep and aged as the earth itself. Men and rocks stand staring at one another. Moments pass before the creature speaks again. You are small. Something about the naivete of the statement seems to ease the men. You're rather a large yourself. Tries Bravebeard hesitantly. Thank you. Rumbles the small mountain. Simply. Would you like a flower? I'm quite good at flowers. Oh, he's not trying to kill this one. Yeah. That's good. Oh, we don't want to be a bother, begins Hasty Beard. In fact, but the creature is already turning. Guess it's just walking away. Yeah, just run away now, or? Or maybe I will fetch three. Rumbling happily to itself, the geological oddity thunders away. The men breathe sighs of relief. No, oh, okay. I guess we just run away? No, I think we should go toward it. Okay. That's the best option. Don't run away from your problems, run towards them. Or I guess run to our boat. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't have a sail. I have done it. I have fetched a flower. The men turn reluctantly from the enticing safety of their boat to face the returning earthquake. Gently, the massive stone fist places before them what appears to be an upended tree. Hey, it's that tree that you saw before that you were asking if it was a sign. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, now we know. Now we know. Why, thank you, gushes Hasty Beard, elbowing the snickering Brave Beard. That, that's you. Oh. <laughs> what a nice fun. The big creature that beard. That's Brave Beard. Okay. It mentioned a different name after being nudged, so you can only assume. And I guess we take accept the flower. Oh, oh no! no that, oh no! The creature's shoulders slump, dejected. It has wilted. You know, I think I saw another on the far end of the island. Suggests Steady Beard. Why don't you go? I will fetch it. Brightening, the mountainous being turns once more to thunder away. Bro, we gotta get out of here. Just leave like this is still away. Well, maybe three. Hasty Beard calls after him, grinning. Quick, while we've a chance, he adds yeah, in a whisper, right leading the way to the boat. Oh, it's not gonna give us a choice, is it? No. Well, he's just gonna ditch him. Wow, that's cruel. Yeah. Oh, is he gonna throw the flower at us? That's a joke. Oh, there he is. I have no mouse control. Hey, look, did you see how sad he looked when we sailed away? Well, that that is cruel. Why did we do that? I don't know, man. His eyes. Is he so bad? I'm 
no. Oh. No, I can only slow down a little bit. Oh, but I think we're gonna get karma. Yeah, this is the bad end. Yeah. We're totally getting karma. 100%. There's gonna be like a storm or something and things are just gonna die. 100%. I don't like the looks nor sound of that, worry Steady Beard over the distant rumble. Rather be fetching flowers with that walking rock pile on dry ground. Uh oh. A lot of rain. A lot of rain, this is getting ominous. On cue, a shower of rain tumbles over them. <clears throat> Suffering squid livers! Howls Hasty Beard. We'll be sunk! They bail, furiously, but the downpour is relentless. Through the eerie gray, they seem to hear the faint keening of wordless song. Am I not follow the sisters of train? That would be... I mean, it could be. I mean, we yeah. always wake up back on that island, I assume. Oh, okay, we got those three mer... People. Oh god, they're gonna, they're gonna kill us instantly. Nah, I can't click on them. Well, no, they're protecting us. Look at how the rain's not hitting. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, there's... Oh! Oh, wait. Some kind of... <laughs> oh! Okay. Because, you know, you can't sail in the rain. Very true. Uh-oh. A flash of lightning suddenly illuminates their surroundings. Woman folk. Yells Gravebeard. There are women folk in the water. His shout is followed closely <laughs> by a splash as Hasty Beard jumps in. Oh no. What is he doing? Um <clears throat> Of all the kelp petted halfwit. No, that's not that can't be steady bit. He jumped in. That must be Of all the kelp witted halfwits! No, He's the big jump down, I think. Probably that makes sense. Anyway, a second splash yeah. halts. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Of all the kelp headed half wits, a second splash halts Steady Beard's analysis of the situation. Sighing deeply, he dives after them. It makes more sense to Hasty Beard be the one to jump in. Yeah. Finding the dark water empty, the men quickly regret the course of their action. Yeah, why would you jump from your boat? I'm like, that doesn't make any sense to me. In a lightning storm. We'll stay in the boat. Where else are you gonna go? Well, underwater, I guess. But don't worry, we already know these guys can hold their breath for like ages. Maybe we'll meet that thing again. Maybe. I mean, there's lots of fishies. Oh. Yeah. yeah so this, I, this, this is looking familiar. Yeah, the yeah. narwhal. Yeah, jellies. But I mean, we took a completely different route. I think it all ends up to this. Like, this is like the uh, moment of, uh, it's like, like the end point. Like the reconciliation? Yeah. No, but this game boasts multiple different endings. I don't know, man. Oh, yeah. We played a game about travelers? No, I, no, I decided this this creature's voice, it's more magical. It wouldn't be blubbering. <laughs> the men are blubbering. Change your voice. <laughs> you have sought new paths this day, she smiles. The men nod unnecessarily. <laughs> Yet still, others lie untrodden behind you. Her gaze is deep, searching. It is well for you bear the looks of those who would seek them. May we meet again at the end of another path. Inclining her glimmering head in farewell, the creature slips silently away into darkness. Huh. Okay, that route was a lot shorter than the first one. The, the men didn't really talk there. No. And now I guess we just swim up to the back of the island again. It was just like walk out, I guess. Yep. 
<laughs> Lots of crabs. That crab like put up his dukes. He wants to fight. Maybe there's an ending with all the thought. Yeah. It's uh, like a mini boss. A yeah. secret mini boss. <laughs> secret boss, the game turns into Dark Souls or yeah. Undertale. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah, well, nice. <sighs> what a nice. Were they sure dead league? Oh, and so the dream. Just of the uh, denims. Right. Yeah. All inside of a dream on account of the crazy. Is this new? Uh, no, this is the back side of the island. Okay. I can't click on the sun. Yeah, and there's all the puffins. Oh, cool. Man, I feel like nothing really happened on that on that adventure. We just met the rock guy. Everything else was the same. No, we can explore some more scenery. Yeah, I mean we Is got nice we got a flower. Yeah. Well, here we go. Back to the old man's house. Back to Deckard Kane's house. <clears throat> yeah, there he is. There he is, yeah. Had another go, did ya? The old man greets him smiling. Well, let's see it. I forget how exactly how I made him sound. Yeah, we got exactly one more thing. Was this supposed to mean something? Yeah, it shows each of the interactions. Oh, yeah. Aye, he sighs. <laughs> Beautiful, that is. There it is. There's the voice. As they turn to the shelf, he nods. I'd wager there's room for more up there. And most of those are like, like the game ends there. <laughs> yeah. Alright, you've seen everything there is to see. Yeah. 